The Carolina Hurricanes will wear the jersey that first leaked almost two years ago at the upcoming 2023 NHL Stadium Series, but not without a couple of minor changes. This is an Aesthetics Flash Report for January 6th. I'm Chris. Thanks for watching. This is the jersey that originally leaked back in June 2021. It showed up on a sports store rack in Raleigh, and it was intended for the Stadium Series game scheduled for February of that year. But that game was canceled due to COVID and was later rescheduled for this season, next month in fact. The question many fans have been asking is whether the Hurricanes would wear this same design for the rescheduled game. And over the weekend, we learned the answer is yes, almost. Matt Goldman, also known as Liberty Bell Jerseys on Twitter, got his hands on this year's edition and posted this photo on Sunday showing a side-by-side -side comparison of the original leaked jersey and the new one. On first glance, they look identical, but there are a couple of minor differences. And to talk us through the details, Matt Goldman joins me now from North Carolina. Okay, hi Matt, welcome and uh, thanks for joining me, taking a little bit of time today to talk about the uh, Carolina Hurricanes new stadium series jersey. Uh, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Happy to talk about it. Awesome. Now, we want to talk about some of the changes. There weren't many, just a few little minor details. Uh, but I think the first one is the, the how the jersey is branded and the materials used, right? Right. Um, the original leaked one from two years ago is Aero Ready. The new one is Prime Green. So it has all the upgraded uh, crests and patches and is now recycled. And is there any difference to how the fabric feels from one to the other? Generally, it's it's about the same. Um, some people might say that there's a difference, but I've, I personally don't feel that there's any real difference between how it feels. Um, the weave is the same. Cool. So let's take a closer look at the crests. Uh, from the photo you posted on Twitter, they're slightly different. Yeah. So let me flip over and I'll, I'll get a better picture. So here's the two um, for reference. This one on the left here is the original uh, Arrow Ready Leak. The one on the right is the prime green crest. Uh, so when they did the switch over to prime green, they changed from having this mesh in, inlays uh, to just doing full twill. Um, so we can see that this has a mesh that matches the jersey, uh, which creates a kind of more flat effect. Whereas on the prime green, you can see that it is twill. So it, it creates you know, a more solid look. Uh, they also did some more raised accents on it that the prime green crests generally do. But other than that, the crest is the same colorway, same design. Um, you could be forgiven for thinking that they're the same thing. Now let's take a look at the uh, shoulder patch because it looked like those were uh, that was slightly different as well. There's that North Carolina flag on the left shoulder. Yeah, so that's the other big change that is, I, I feel, a little bit more noticeable. Um, on the old Arrow Ready models and Climalite models, it's very, very flat, um, single layer. Um, with prime green, Adidas decided to do more twill and stitching. So you can see it's it's got two layers of stitching now with some embroidery. It creates a much bulkier, much more sturdy feeling patch. It, it feels more substantial, uh, but it is uh, gray on black. It's not black on black like the pictures sometimes look. It is gray on black. Um, and that lines up with their um, now home shoulder patch as well. Same motif, gray on black. Yeah, and I think, it, yeah, I can tell that it varies based on kind of how the light hits it because I could tell in some of your photos that you posted, you have, like, it looks like it's just black on black with some of that texturing, but in other photos, you can definitely see the uh, the dark gray. And then the leaked one did have Terra Vinen on it. Um, the new one does not have lettering on it. So we'll see if that changes at all. I doubt it will, but... Yeah, we've seen crazier things. Yeah, exactly. And apart from that, uh, apart from those few things, did you notice any other changes? Not really. Um, I know in some of the photos, it looks like the heathered pat pattern is a little darker on the prime green. They are the same. When you put them in the same lighting, um, they're nearly identical. Um, you know, inks change over time. But other than that, they're the same sublimated pattern on both. All right. So last question. We know that the Hurricanes will be hosting the Washington Capitals in this uh, upcoming stadium series game. Have you had a chance to get a sneak peek at the Capitals jersey yet? I have not. I've seen the same blue and silver logo that, that has been posted around. It will be interesting to see. I don't know that they're going to do color on color. 
Um, but silver as an away jersey would be very interesting to see the Capitals wear something that's not strictly red, white, and blue. All right. That was quick. Thanks for taking the time, Matt. I really do appreciate it. Yeah. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Chris. My thanks again to Matt for taking the time to talk. And that's all for now. Drop a like on your way out if you don't mind. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.